retro rock plays everything. Hey Rob here and I've got an unboxing for you. The Arcade Classics Rampage Mini Arcade Machine. I've covered these a few times in the past. Um, I said if I got one of the rare ones, well, more rare ones, uh, then I would come back and do another unboxing of them. And I have. Uh, this one and Joust showed up at my local Walmart. I don't go into Walmart often, so they might be flooded with them. But uh, anyway... They had them, they haven't had them in the past, and uh, I picked this one up. I'm kind of regretting not getting the Joust, but that's okay. Uh, maybe I'll pick it up later and do an unboxing on that one. Let me know if you want that. Anyway, here we go. Rampage is one of my favorite games back in the day. I had a lot of favorites, so I pretty much love them all. Uh, here we have a lovely beastie on the front. Side of the box. The back of the box, classic arcade gameplay. Sorry, there's a little bit of a blur there. Use your mutant powers to destroy the city. Oh yeah, this is great. You get to destroy buildings. Punch, jump, and climb to bring down buildings. Destroy soldiers, helicopters, and tanks attacking you. Look for food in the rubble, but be careful what you eat. Yeah, yeah you can eat a flamethrower guy and that's not real good. You can get electrocuted too. There was just so much forethought in this game. Anyway, let's uh, pop the box open. Take a look inside. And... It's kind of funny. I know I mention this in every video, but the uh, same company that makes this makes some really chintzy uh, arcade mini machines. And I think they're about the same price. I don't know why you'd go for the chintzy ones versus these. The other ones are just like these black and white LCDs. And these are full color, which... They're actually pretty nice. Oop, there with the instructions. Put batteries in. That's very exciting. An SEC statement. Let's see. Oh, there is, um, there is how to play. That's very nice, gameplay. The object of the game is to smash cities across the U.S. Using George, Lizzie, or Ralph topple buildings while avoiding the soldiers and helicopters trying to take you down. Press the punch button next to a building to start smashing. You can also climb up to destroy the upper levels. Just use the up control on the joystick. Sometimes you can find items after smashing into the buildings. Look out for any kind of food to help heal you. However, watch out for any electrical appliances, skulls, or cacti. And I won't read on, you're going to get bored with me, but uh, nice, it's got actual instructions for it, so that's a big plus. Uh, it has the usual insane uh, securing system. Let's see if I can get this out within a reasonable time. I'm really having a hard time getting underneath there. It's pretty rough. Hmm. Well, might end up fast forwarding this. Twist. Twist. Coming out. Half the interest in watching my unboxing videos is to see if I actually can successfully unbox it. All right, let's take a look at this first before playing it. Uh, plastic quality is pretty typical for the basic fun series of arcade machines. Uh, it's it's not like cancer plastic but it's not super great it'll hold up i don't think it's going to fail as far as the decal application goes the decals look good they're all straight they're put on right uh that said they look a little bit thin to me i think over time especially the one on this deck is probably going to wear out and start showing some uh, white color through it it's just you know I i'd prefer if they just printed directly onto the plastic instead of doing this this way 
Uh, looking at the side, uh, not very inspiring artwork. I will put the original arcade machine up here so you can see whether it matches the original. In most cases in the past, it has. Back is pretty uneventful, but there is a reset button on the back. There is the screw that I hate over the battery co <laughs> cover. God, I hate that. I hate the screws on the battery covers. Anyway, more pretty boring art. Here is the joystick. It is pretty unoffensive. In the past, I've always thought it's gonna be crappy, but it always seems to work better than I think, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, here's the buttons. You got a start, pause, a jump, and a punch. Oop, screen came up, look at that. And on the front, you have an on-off button, and you have a volume control button. Very exciting. If you're curious, this is how it compares to the world's tiniest arcade machines. See, it's it's quite a bit bigger. And it's more playable for it. <laughs> that is a plus. All right, let's go play around, shall we? And here we are with Rampage. I'm gonna hit the start button and I can choose my monster. I'm gonna use Lizzie. Day one. San Jose. Uh, one thing I'm noticing right away is I could have swore that it had like paper headlines in the original. I have to check that. But it doesn't appear to have this here. The controls are working pretty well. No problems. And I kind of suspected that, uh, that they would work okay. Ooh, make sure to jump before the building collapses. has the same kind of wonky control system. There we go. Okay, so anybody out there in viewer land know what version this is? It's obviously not the arcade version. I don't think it's the Nintendo version either. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure the Nintendo version had the headlines on it. Oh, die. Come here. Ugh. Walked right into that one. I love the way you can reach out and like punch stuff. Oops, got him. <laughs> ah, sucker. Rampage is truly a great game. There we go. Oh, it's collapsing by itself. It's building like that that caused the housing crisis, you know. All right, let's go one, let's do one more level. Before I throw out a verdict on this. The screen's pretty nice. Um, I thought it was a little bit dimmer than the other ones, but I did check it in between uh, this play session and last. And, uh, no, it's not any darker. In fact, it looks pretty good. It's just that the height that I'm recording at is a little bit imperfect for it. That said, for you guys watching this, it's at the right level, so. This makes it a little bit hard for me to play. Nice. All right, let's go get this one. If you are watching this when it came out, uh, which is going to be uh, towards the end of March, I will be live streaming a couple days for a few hours each. Uh, I think Friday the 16th and Monday the 19th. So if you're interested in that, stop on by and check it out. Not sure of the times yet. I'll try and get them scheduled, though. Nice. Well, I think you guys pretty much get the idea of this game. Anyway, as far as Rampage goes, it's not an absolutely perfect... Um, arcade translation of it, but it's pretty good. It's enjoyable to play. I do like it a lot. 
the controls work out pretty well. The general design of it works well because they, they've made several of these and they've pretty much got it down. Um, I kind of wish that they'd switch over to a uh, volume control that either has a slider or a, uh, or a wheel uh, so that I could control the volume a little bit better. Uh, but as far as the screen controls and gameplay goes, it's pretty good for 20 bucks. Uh, again, you know, you can get yourself a Famiclone for 20 bucks and get a whole bunch of games, uh, but you're paying for the unusual form factor and the kind of niche appeal of uh, having a little tiny arcade machine. So, worth it at the $20 level. Not bad. Thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, by the way, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye! Retro Rocks Gaming Videos